Hi, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your August 11th to the 17th, 2024 reading for you. Now, this is take two because the other one, Mercury Retrograde, came in, played with the sound. So we are doing this reading again. Now, I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. It gets this channel seen by more people. So thank you so very much for doing so. And if you're interested in a private reading, check out my website, daneharttarot.com. It's listed in the description box below. And I look forward to reading for you. Now, before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. <sighs> all right, Gemini. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. Ooh turn them around in a little bit angels and spirit guides show me clearly angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading angels and spirit guides let's see what our spirit message is angels and spirit guides. Show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly angels. So here is subdued reverse. So this is going to be a week for us where we don't want things to be subdued. We want things to be vibrant and out loud. So let's see what plant is this? This is Sal Salah. Sal -al? S A L A L. And so we're going to want a vibrancy to our life and to ourselves during this time, but it's also going to be very important for us to calm things down and to center things. And it's it's going to feel at times like we're being pulled in two directions. It's like one twin wants to go out and party and everything like that and just have the best possible time, you know, absolutely possible. And the other one wants to stay at home, read a book, do really quiet things. So just beware of the the different pulls that we're going to have during this time are going to be very intense, but we're going to have like almost two very different goals and we're going to want to have them accomplished at the same exact time. So being aware of this is going to be important. It moves us to our chakra energy, angels and spirit guides show me clearly. This is balance. Yeah, that makes sense. So the root chakra is coming through. It's saying, Hey, be balanced, be in balance with yourself. And it's going to be important for us to focus on our root chakra to balance the twin aspect of ourselves and to balance what we want in our lives. Let me just check to make sure everything is in frame. Yay, it is. Our energy to be mindful of, angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Ooh, so we have here justice reversed and the queen of cups. So we can be dealing with Libra energy, okay, time frame, September 23rd to October 22nd, and water sign energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, that we're not really liking during this time. We can also be dealing with somebody who's highly, highly emotionally manipulative and very unjust, very unfair. They'll say one thing, oh, I want this from you, I expect this, I want that, and then they'll turn around and you'll do it, you'll do it perfectly, and it won't be good enough. They'll be like, no, that, that wasn't right. I, I told you to do this. I told you to do that. Be very, very mindful, especially if this is a romantic relationship because you're going to drive yourself crazy trying to, to meet their needs and to fulfill their goals and they can't ever be met. 
which is going to make you feel diminished and which is just going to put a strain on things. So being aware of this during this time is going to be super important. So it can't even be like, all right, I'll do it. But why don't you text me? Like, why don't you text me? Why don't you write down what you want? So then when they say, oh, but I wanted it like this, and this will also work, like this is going to be any really close relationship. So it can even be with a boss. It can be with a friend. It can be with whomever. Just get it all written down because then you can be like, okay, obviously there was a misunderstanding. Here's the text. Like, here is it written down. Let's go over this together. What did you actually mean? So that can be helpful, you know, or at least like we could be like, see, <laughs> I highly recommend we don't do that. Say, see, that's what we're going to want to do. We are crowned with the 10 of swords reverse. So it's very interesting where we're fighting a transformation. We have the six of cups. We have again, justice reverse again, Libra energy reverse. So there, it's, it's tricky with the Libras right now. Seven of cups reversed the hangman. Judgment. The page of wands reverse fire sign energy Aries Leo Sagittarius. The three of pentacles reversed the seven of wands reversed, the nine of cups reversed, and the wheel of fortune. So it's very interesting is that we're, we're fighting a transformation that's coming forward. And we're fighting a purging that is like, I do not have to be what people said I was, or what I thought I was, I get to simply be me. And if I want to change everything about me, I can, you know, I can reinvent myself, I can move forward in a different way. And that's going to be just so beautiful for us during this time because Gemini we love that we love the dress up and the make-believe and the and the stepping into a new role it's not that we're being delusional within our lives but we're saying there's more here there's more here than I even realize and our past is going to come through very beautifully we're going to be looking at things and finding that we're inspired in ways that arc to our once upon a time self our younger self our child self our intuitive self and that's going to come forward during this time. So a really beautiful connection with our inner child. We have to look at things also as we have this connection come forward because there's some scars that come forward as well and saying sometimes things aren't just and sometimes things aren't, aren't fair. And what's actually going to be really helpful to us is watching something that makes us cry. I know that sounds very counterintuitive, but watching something that's sad, that wasn't just, that wasn't fair. And it's like, oh, stuff happens, but change, you know, stuff with another S word, right? It happens. And I'm moving forward from this. I'm not letting it hold me back. So being aware of this is going to be very important during this time. I do see an emotional cleanse coming forward. Now, somebody might want to, to manipulate on that. Don't let them do this, do this for you and do this quietly for yourself, not like, Oh, let's watch this sad moving together. It's like, No, I need I need this alone time to be able to connect with me. And it doesn't have to be a sad movie, it could be some true crime, something or something or other be very mindful with how much you can consume of that dark evil stuff, because it's dark, and it's evil, and it goes into our minds and our hearts and our, our system. And it's not good for us. So just be very, very mindful with that. The seven of cups reverse, we're looking at our dreams. And we've, we've kind of We've written off our dreams just a little bit during this time, Gemini. And we're like, well, I'm never going to get to where it is that I want it to be. We're going to see ourselves as way older than we actually are. It doesn't matter our age. We're like, oh, I can't do that. I'm this old. And it doesn't matter how old we are. We're going to say that to ourselves. We can be, you know, 15 and we'll be like, oh, no, I'm too old. Or we could be, you know, 155. We'll be like, oh, no, I'm too old. So just be mindful about this, that our dreams need to come forward. And we need to stop looking at our dreams and saying, oh, but it has to be this way. It has to be that way. We need to connect with our inner child of fire and passion. We are also going to have an air sign energy, a Gemini, a Libra, no, a fire sign energy, an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius that's going to come in Gemini. And they're going to be a bit of a spitfire. And they're going to test you <laughs> like you haven't been tested before. This person is either going to be a very young soul, like a very vibrant young soul this person could be immature but that's going to be testing you in a different way i see this more as a vibrant effervescence coming forward or this could be a child that is is going through a transition you know is, is starting a new like this could be somebody who's starting kindergarten and they're all excited about it but they're also you know acting out because they're a little bit scared just be mindful about this during this time because i do see this as a very young person 
that they're going through this transition. It could be starting school. It could be whatever it is. And there's a question of, of how do I embrace my fire and my passion? How do I embrace all this energy that's bubbling up inside me and, and do so in a very positive, healthy way? So being aware of this for ourselves is going to be important because this energy here with their vibrancy and their, and their fire and their determination, they're going to butt heads with us. And we want them to kind of go with the flow. We want them to embrace the energy of air and they want to consume us with the energy of fire. So just be aware of that. You are going to find that you're coming out of a time where you felt judged, where you felt put in the box and judged. This was most likely, Gemini, you judging yourself. Others very well contributed to it, but the judgment really fell on us judging ourselves. And we can, we can put ourselves in the box and in the corner with the best of them. So just being mindful about this, that we're coming out of a dark time. We're coming out of a time where we felt oppressed, where we felt overwhelmed, where we denied ourselves a way of moving forward. This isn't going to necessarily be a week for us where we want to really collaborate with everybody else, where we want to sit there and say, oh, you got this and you got that. And that's fantastic. We're going to be taking inspiration from others, but the collaboration is we're going to work mainly, mainly solitarily during this time. We're stopping fighting. We've been wasting a lot of our energy fighting and especially around what we love or how we think we should move forward in love. And now it was going to be a time where we we really say this is what i love and this is what i want and we're going we had been looking at somebody who was a water sign energy a pisces a scorpio a cancer or somebody who's just very like oh i love this i love that and we thought oh we could love this together like we could do this together either as friends or you know as as partners or you know build something together i just see building something together it doesn't have to be romantic it most likely isn't this person does not have to follow through to stand there with you and you're going to take it as an emotional slight and think, what is wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you. You know, you've actually dodged the bullet. So being aware of that, you're changing a lot in your life right now. You're, you're weaving, you know, here, I love how here everything is all tangled. I mean, I just love this. The, the spinning wheel is all tangled. Everything is just a mess. And the angel comes in and slowly and steadily unwinds, untangles and produces what back in the not so distant future was the biggest commodity of all thread. Every single piece of thread that made a sale, that made clothing, that made, you know, rugs or anything was first created on a spinning wheel. So here we're taking the strands that hold our stories together, our lives together, our clothes together, our, you know, sales on our ships together that moved our world and still move our world today. And our angels are untangling them. And so we're going to see for us, Gemini, that things that weren't unclear, or we thought, oh, it has to be like this, it has to be like that. Again, we worked in absolutes. It's becoming untangled. And it's like, oh, what about this? What about this way moving forward? What about that way moving forward? Or what about this? What about that? And it's going to be surprising. And it's going to be beautiful for us. So that is a really great thing. And that is a really, a really beautiful thing, a really lucky thing that I'm very excited about for you. It moves us then to our subconscious spirit message, which here is resourcefulness. We're not going to do things the straight and narrow way, the exact way of, oh, it has to be like this. It has to be like, like that. We are going to be more resourceful. We are going to be more of thinking outside of the box, which can get people upset because we're going to be more inclined to try new things. Also, again, we're not subdued. One part of us wants to be loud and experimental. The other part of us wants to follow the tried and true path. Once we weave them together, you know, as, as our angels untangle, you know, the mess that we can become at times, the knotted mess that we can become of anxiety or fear or doubt. We start to see ourselves being like, oh, well, how about? And then, and then we start creating something new, something that people didn't think could happen or that we didn't think that could happen for ourselves. It moves us then to the energy to be mindful of, which is be mindful of the bickering of others. Be mindful of something small, something that is really not a big deal, being blown up into something big. It's like, okay, let's step back. And that's going to be really important during this time, Gemini, step back, because we're going to want to step right in and be like, oh, I can separate all of this. No, we're just going to be hit by the sticks. <laughs> step back, look at it, and then move forward. It moves us then to our energy, our subconscious energy with the chakra energy. And this is inner strength. This is the solar plexus chakra. 
we have a blockage in our solar plexus chakra. So interlock your fingers together and rub your tummy, you know, cl clockwise like this. And that's going to help us release any blockages in our solar plexus chakra. But it's also going to help us connect with our gut, calm down our, you know, our digestive system, calm down ourselves. The, the touch is going to be very vital for us to calm ourselves down, to settle ourselves. And then as we do so, we're going to start to see ourselves breaking out of a shell, breaking out of a, a feeling of being trapped that we thought, well, this is just it, right? This is just how life is. It moves us then to our subconscious tarot message, which is the Eight of Cups reversed. We are having a bit of difficulty walking away from something that needs to be walked away from. It's like, no, I can't do this. We can be feeling too loyal. We can be feeling too obligated. We can be feeling too scared, overwhelmed, whatever it is. But the Eight of Cups reverse is like, okay, you're going to have to choose you and you're going to have to move forward. And it's going to take time. So be kind to yourself as well. All right, Gemini, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. And please note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony. Gemini, may blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.